It can cost hundreds of dollars to eat at a Michelin-starred restaurant. At Sam's, it's about 10. But he thinks his chicken is so good it deserves a gong. He's flying from the Alice to Paris to plead his case. It's bloody unbelievable. The desert drumsticks are beating and they come near and far. How far would some people come just to taste this food? Around 600 kilometres. Easy. How far away is where your community you're from? Ah, uh, it's up north in the Gulf. 1,300 kilometres. Yeah, yeah. It's the daily pilgrimage of finger licking fanatics, devotees of the world's most remote KFC. He might have created the secret herbs and spices, but around here, I'm the Colonel. Sam Edelman is the KFC franchisee here in the Alice, where hope, not to mention sheer audacity, springs eternal. The chicken king of Alice Springs says his food is so special, he's applied for a Michelin star. Seriously. Delicious, it's breaded in the Colonel's secret herbs and spices, delivered fresh, five days a week. What do you think of the food here? It's great. Otherwise, I wouldn't come here as much often as I do. How often do you come here? About two or three times a week, maybe Whoa. even four. Michelin impossible? No, I say Michelin possible. It has to be said, Sam is one restaurateur with an awful lot of pluck. His campaign begins behind me after you leave the airport on the road to Alice Springs. So let's go into town and see what all the cackle's about. Did you know yes, that sir. Sam, the owner yeah. of this place, is going for Michelin star? Okay. <laughs> Man's speechless. What, ambitious? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah? It is a bit ambitious, isn't it? Ambitious, but is the food nutritious? Oh, it's nutritious. Yeah. I reckon it is. It? Delicious? I mean, look at that. You don't, oh. get, one, you don't get one of them <laughs> without good food. Here in the dead centre of the Red Centre, Sam claims he already meets many of Michelin star's criteria. We have mastery of flavour and cooking techniques, the 11 secret herbs and spices, the way the Colonel prepared it, and we have the personality. You'd leave home for this. Of course, it was the French who created the Michelin Guide. So what does an ambitious restaurateur do if he wants a Michelin star? Why, go to Paris, of course, and knock on their door. <laughs> I am uh, very nervously driving up to Michelin, trying to work out what I'm going to uh, say to them, what they're going to say to me. Now, to Michelin, you'd imagine that a fast food KFC in the Aussie outback would be a paltry affair. But fortune favours the brave. And Sam gets an audience with the director of Michelin Guide International, Gwendal Pulinek. Sucker blur. What if we were to fly you to Alice Springs to come and try my Kentucky Fried Chicken? Oh, we will have to check whether it's uh, manageable due to my agenda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cordon Bleu meets KFC. So if you come to Australia, what are my chances of getting a star? Frankly, I'm not sure you have uh, a lot of chance for that. But the chicken king of Alice Springs isn't finished. From the Eiffel Tower to the Ark, he takes his campaign to the streets. Most of them said that they really like KFC. They laughed at my thoughts of trying to get a Michelin star for it. Sam couldn't work out a way to keep his Outback version of KFC hot, so he offers the locals, well, the local version. Bit of a lame duck, yes. really. Do you think Kentucky Fried Chicken deserves a Michelin star? Uh, honestly, no. Oh, honestly, not. My goal was to get Michelin's attention through a local campaign and uh, it went viral and that was more than I ever expected. You know, I did not expect to be standing here right now, uh, but it's amazing. And to have then had that cause Michelin to respond to me, uh, it's incredible. Did they say no? They didn't give me a straight no, they gave me it's very unlikely. Uh, so I suppose there's still a chance. <laughs> Back in Alice, Sam gets a reception befitting a royal. But from street party to party pooper. Can I make a confession? What's that? I don't eat chicken, I've got a chicken phobia. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> since I've been a little kid. That is hilarious. Uh, so, <laughs> so you are gonna come and eat some chicken here. Why would they, why would you come and do a story on a chicken place without trying the chicken? So why did this rooster with a chicken phobia accept the assignment? Let's just say Sam's story is impeccable. 
Marty doesn't know it yet, but he's going to eat chicken today, whether he likes it or not. What about chefs who've got a Michelin star? Should they be offended by this in some way? I met two chefs while I was in Paris who have Michelin stars, and neither of them were insulted by this. They both thought the campaign was hilarious. If a Michelin criteria was popularity, Sam's chicken palace in the Alice would star. Every day his team sells more than a thousand meals, 7,350 meals a week, and almost 400,000 meals a year. It's Australia's most profitable KFC. All right, Marty, how you going? Good, mate. The time has come For... to uh, face your phobia. Oh, so, mate, Sam, no. It's time to face your fear. Maybe. Yeah, I'll oh, grab yeah. one as well. Get into it. Cheers. I'll do the thing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, I'm right. So, mate, it is tasty. Yeah. I swallowed it whole. Bloody good chicken. Will you keep going with the campaign? Well, now I've got Michelin's attention. Uh, now it's a waiting game for them to come and see me. So the whole idea was to get their attention because Michelin have to come to you and they do it unannounced. And then they will come back again unannounced up to six months or a year later and then they will give you the feedback if you deserve a star. From a marketing point of view, it's bloody brilliant, I can tell you. Dale McIver is the head of tourism in the Northern Territory. I reckon we had a little party for him here this morning to welcome him back from Paris, but if we pull this off, this town's absolutely going to go off. It, it'll be one party that it'll, everyone will want to come to. Habitaris, is it any good? <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> you got your own bucket, James? Yeah. Did you eat, you eat a whole bucket? Wow. Yeah. When, it's usually I want the family feast. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Do you think we could no, get a star? I, think... <laughs> I went to Paris and ate snails. They can come here and eat my chicken. Mm. This is definitely worth a detour. <laughs> Genius. He won't get a star, but he's certainly got everyone's attention. Sam hopes he's inspired other Australian restaurant owners to apply for a star.